So in the last video I touched on some code that was a little too advanced for beginners and did not provide a good explanation for how it worked. So I want to take a step back from Flask and touch on some Python data structures. And so the code that I'm referring to is right here. So here we cast the data fetched from the SQL query to a dictionary. And there's also a list comprehension at play here as well, which is just a concise way of creating a list. So let's break this down and then refactor it into something a bit more legible. Now let's start by seeing what the data structure really looks like. So let's go ahead and add a print statement to the function. So print post. Go ahead and save that. And let's open up the terminal. Make sure your virtual env is activated. And then let's fire up the server, so python app.py. And then within our browser, let's go ahead and go to localhost 5000 and then log in. Let's go ahead and log in. Now if we go back to our terminal, we can see the data structure here from the print statement. So we have a list of dictionaries where each dictionary contains information about each post. So now let's go ahead and update the code to create the exact same data structure, just in a more readable way. Okay, so if you go back to Sublime, where do we start? Well first, what is fetch all doing exactly? What is that returning? We could check the Python documentation, but let's just test that out ourselves. Right off the bat, we can assume that it does something with all the data returned from the SQL query based on the name of the method, fetch all. But what type of data structure is utilized? Let's find out. So I'm going to comment this out. And then let's go ahead and add two more print statements. So let's print out cur and then print out cur.fetch all. So I'll go ahead and save that. And then if we go back to our browser here, refresh, let me open up the terminal and we can see that cur is just an object here. And then we can see that fetch all returns a list of tuples containing the data from each row in the database. Now keep in mind that we could pass that directly to the template as we can loop through this list here and then grab each piece of data from the tuples. But let's go ahead and focus on the task at hand by refactoring the code to create the exact same data structure, a list of dictionaries. So jumping back to Sublime here, let's go ahead and start with the creation of the dictionaries. So I'm gonna go ahead and comment this out. And let's go ahead and define an empty, empty dictionary. Then we want to loop through each row. So for row in cur.fetch all. So the key, the first key is going to be title and we will assign row zero to that and you can see that row zero is going to be the title so good well and then hello and i'll go ahead and copy that paste it so this is going to be description and row one let's go ahead and print out that dictionary Okay, so going back to the browser, let's refresh the page again. And then back to the terminal, we can see the results here. So we have three dictionaries. Each one has a key of a description and a title key as well. And then we can see the values here associated with each key. And that's exactly what we want. So now we can just create a list and append each dictionary to it. 
So again, we want to define an empty data structure. So let's just define the list here. And then go ahead and append dictionaries to the list. And then let's print the posts. OK, let's refresh the page one more time. And so there is our structure there. Cool, so that's exactly what we want. So looking back on our code, this is doing exactly what this is doing. You can see, obviously, how much more concise the list comprehension is, but you also sacrifice some readability here. Well, let's go ahead and refactor this function just a little bit. So I'm going to get rid of this here. You still want the, to define the empty list. However, I'm going to refactor this just a little bit. Actually, we don't need the brackets on there. And let's comment that out. Okay, we have a pep8 error. Um, not a big fan of this, but let's just make that go away. And, oh, you should not actually be in parentheses. Okay, there we go. So now we refactor the function so it casts the results from the query to the dictionary rather than assigning each key value pair manually. So this code is now quite a bit cleaner. So let's just make sure it works. So now if it does work, then all the posts will appear on the page because we are appending each dictionary to the post list. And then just like before, we are assigning this variable to posts and then We'll have access to that variable within the template. So let's refresh the page. Um, that's the exact same error we were getting a second ago. So let me fire back up the server. Okay, there we go. It works. Cool. So I hope that all makes sense. And if you want more info on how list comps or list comprehensions work, check out the real Python course. And so next time we'll move back to Flask and start adding unit testing into the mix.